You wake up alone in your room, disturbed by some noise close to your bed. At first, when you open your eyes, all you see is darkness and black. You stare straight up and listen, straining your eyes to pick up the faintest and smallest of sounds. The sounds of the edge of hearing, the sounds of the noise being withheld, of something deliberately trying to be silent, to stalk, and to hunt. Your eyes begin to adjust. You see only darkness, but now, with terror, you begin to realize it is not the darkness of the room, but the dark empty void staring out from the hollowed eye sockets of the thing leaning over your bed. Hello buddy, my name is Richard Bunsey and welcome to Eyeless Jack. Now the link for the game is in the description below. Uh, this is a cool uh, menu, I'm going to be honest. Let's just jump straight into it. This is a creepy pasta. A very old one, in Hello. fact. My name is Mitch. Holy shit. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. That's actually the story. That's actually how the story begins. I know that because I wanted to like brief myself. Oh my god, that's my brother oh, Edward. Those are my or Edwin. Things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. I didn't fully read it. Move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. I didn't fully read it. I only skimmed through like that main story. But it, that's cool. That uh, it's literally the story. Like I just know the first paragraph was "Hello, my name is Bitch," and I was like skimming through that. What I what I put these. In my room? Oh, this is my room? Oh my god, it's... It's literally what's going on in the image. That's crazy. This is a small house, though. It's weird to visualize this. That's This is weird. <laughs> this is cool. It's literally the story. I'm not a big creepypasta guy. I'll be honest with you. But it's definitely, like, I can't deny it's definitely something to take note of it was be oh you're, you grabbed the last box for me thank you my brother thank you thanks, thanks. but like we can't den ignore it i feel like it's a part of history now what damn you be moving like a fucking weeping angel dude you started smoking huh you want one? Oh, thanks i don't smoke why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. Alright, good night then. Night. Night. Like, Slenderman is a creepypasta. And he's like the most popular one. And he's still around to this day. I feel like the attachment of him though, of a creepypasta, has now disappeared. Wow, it's 1am too. That's... Oh, it's a raccoon. It's actually the what if this is actually what you see in the actual photo. Crazy. I like how they recreated the room. Wish my window wasn't open. That door can never be opened. Brother, what was that? Good morning. Hey man, did you sleep well? No. Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just a raccoon or something. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. Sure thing. The rake is somewhere around the entrance. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it on the way in. Okay, thank you for releasing me. Thank you for opening doors for me. All right. What the fuck is that sound? Are you making food? Is that breakfast I'm hearing? Oh, you're making breakfast. Thank you, brother. Wow. And plus, brother, like, you live in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I heard that if you look out quietly... 
I, I don't know, man. I, I I'll be careful around the squirrels around here. I heard they're kind of uh, rambunctious. Knew a friend that I had uh, lived out in the forest. Never saw him again. Don't know what happened to that guy. Is this part of leaves? Yeah. Where am I go taking these leaves, by the way? This right... Oh, that's not ominous at all. I like that. That should be a... Oh, no. We're a bit... Oh, man. It's kind of like... You want to treat your items like how you want you to be treated. I wouldn't leave this just lying on the ground like that. Like, that's so disrespectful for the item. It's like you don't care about it. And in retrospect, you don't care about your soul. You got to treat everything with, like, high respect, man. I'm going to have to talk to my brother, Edwin, about that. All right, what do I do with this rake? I'm done. I guess I bring it with me. Oh, no, he just takes it away. Brother. Got to eat. Just in time. I cooked some eggs. Thank you. And orange juice. And, uh, oh, I, I thought that was a cookie, but it's a bread. I'm not a big fan of eggs, but thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's 12. Almost 1 in the morning, like last time. Oh, no. I am, uh... Well, I think I should be good. This room's pretty fucking tiny. Unless it was right behind me. At least I closed my window finally. Man, you're always just chilling in here, by the way. At least the bathroom's available. What's that room? Probably his room. What's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. What are you talking about? Oh, I know what this part of the story is. Can I? Fi I get to finally look at myself. See what I look like. Oh, it's just a, it's a drawing. That's unexpected. An hour later. Yeah, we go to the hospital. Doctor. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. That's strange. Indeed. But there is something more disturbing than this guy. What's that? Oh, no. How lost your kidney last night? The way his legs are like stretched out makes it look like I have a skirt. Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. Well, that's very, uh, you know, re re uh, comfortable. I uh, just have a random scar on my stomach now and a gash on my face. Oh my god, always making me do busy work. Yes, yes, I consent. Trust me, I read the whole thing. I never read the whole thing. Brother. You know, I, th I think I need to take kidney stones now. What's with the key on the table? Go? Terrible. He thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. I'm so fucked up. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. I kept this away from you because I didn't trust you at first. But now I can lock your door. And Mitch. Yes. If there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. I know. Thanks, Edwin. Thanks, Edwin. Yeah, Edwin, I didn't do this myself. But I appreciate the you looking after me. Because I definitely did not harm myself. I realize I'm like really close to the webcam. Because my head's just the only thing being shown. But also... Oh, wait. Hold on. Is that the drawing? That's a drawing. And a... Where the hell this is? Alright. Sleep time. Hopefully we sleep away the injuries. No, this ain't good. Oh! Shit, I need my camera fast. Flash it! That's what happens in the actual story? Dead ass? What is happening? 
Oh my fucking god, this is taking a turn for the worst. What do I do? Why am I running away from the house? Why do we not live in civilization? Oh my god! Was I supposed to do something there? Oh, I'm actually insane. What up? Uh -oh. What's the bad news, Doc? The bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was found dead. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. You could have at least like said that with a little more loss in your voice. You don't have to be like critical about that. He's dead. It's like, damn, it's my brother. I'll just take my camera and head back. What kind of injuries did I suffer? Can't I just have the house now? I mean, I wouldn't want to. He didn't like the fact that I wanted to take his house. Oh my god. What's that thing on the floor? No shit, I saw it! Oh, this. What the fuck? It's a half-eaten kidney, because he eats kidneys. Well, he eats other organs, but the kidneys are the are famous one. Okay? No, uh, so, hey, Dad, look what I found. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm okay. That's it's the baby from PT. Yeah, I'm okay. Eyeless Jack. Developed. Original creepypasta. Ah, oh, at least they credits. Nice. Nice. Cool. I thought it said AI music. I was like, what? <laughs> All music. All right, that was the creepy. That was the Eyeless Jack creepypasta story. Uh, interesting. Actually, because of uh, how short this was, I have another game I can do, I guess. Two games in one. Secrets. I guess I don't know how to title this video, then. But uh, we'll, we'll um, jump into that one right now. It was a nice summer day. My five-year-old son James was playing outside in the backyard of our suburban home. James has always been a quiet boy. He plays by himself mostly. He never had many friends, but he has a wild imagination. I was in the kitchen feeding our dog Fido when I heard what sounded like James talking to someone in the backyard. I'm not sure who it was he could be talking to. Could he have finally made a friend? Being a single mom, it's hard for me to always keep an eye on my son, so I decided to go outside and check on him. When I went into the backyard, I was a bit confused because James was the only person back there. Was he talking to himself? I could have sworn I heard another voice. James, it's time to come inside, I called out to him. He came inside and sat down at the kitchen table. It was about lunchtime, so I decided to make him a turkey sandwich. James, who are you talking out there? I asked. James looked up for a moment. I was playing with my new friend, he said smiling. I poured him some milk and continued to pray as any good mother would. Does your friend have a name? Why didn't you ask him to have lunch with us? I asked. James stared at me for a moment before replying. His name was Laughing Jack. Welcome to Jack in a Box. Now, uh, this is Laughing Jack. <laughs> Eyeless Jack, Laughing Jack. There are so many Jacks in the pasta. Uh, we'll just jump straight into this. My son James keeps talking about this clown named Laughing Jack. I believe it's just his imaginary friend, like any parent would. Once again, this is literally the creepypasta. But ever since that day when we first talked about him, Strange things start happening. And I'm having nightmares, which looked very realistic. But everything is black and white. Okay, this is already terrifying. Oh my god, the movement. Was, was the movement like weird there or was that just me losing my mind? This is kind of scary. 
Can I grab that? That looks important. I don't know how to grab things if I can. I don't have a cursor either. Uh, I tried the universal keys to grab. I'll, I'll try enter. Okay, yeah, I tried everything. I'm assuming that's just there. Maybe that's for later. I could run. Oh, that's not good. Last game, I couldn't run. This time, I can run, which means that something might actually be after me here. Now, Laughing Jack, I actually don't know much about. I'm going to be honest. Laughing Jack is another one of those creative pastas, which felt like more of like a fan. Like, I liked his design rather than he's actually like has a good backstory. At least I don't know anything about his back. Oh, look, a Jack in a box. Handle's missing. Find the mistake. Oh, I know where that. Don't you fucking white face me. What did I just say? I know where your fucking ploy is here. I could have grabbed that shit way earlier before all this. Well, this is not very comfortable. Well, oh, my camera looked down. Well, I grabbed the handle. This is a small area, so running doesn't feel like a thing that can happen. Because, like, what's going to happen? He's going to chase me for five seconds and I'm good? Is something there? I, I think something is in there. Better stay in there, Jack, if that is you. This is a nightmare, so if dying is not bad. Let me turn down my volume, too, just in case. Because I have my volume maxed out. Oh my god, that's not scary at all. Oh, I got an audience! Da da ba 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 ba. Oh, the thing even has a laughing jack. Oh, he got his own merchandise. I'm sorry, laughing jack, but I prefer the puppet instead of this. Here goes the weasel. Hi, Laughing Jack. Is that what you look like as a toy? You look like something from fucking Death Note. Why am I, why am I looking away from it? Oh, are you serious? This is where running might actually come into play here. Well, this is not cool. Running might not be a play. There's just a fucking door here. Oh. 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 The fuck is that? A, t a toy. Oh, this is not cool. <laughs> Shut up. That was not funny. I'll kick your ass. Don't laugh at me, okay? That was uncalled for. That was, like, so uncool. Like, by the moment he was already on me is when I processed what happened. No! Get away from my kid, Ryuk! Oh. Real life. My child. I need to grab a knife? Yeah, I don't fucking know where a knife is. Whoever you are, you're not taking my son away from me. I'm a good mom. Open up. Where's the hu where's my husband? I will kill you. Oh, he's dead already. Oh, you left a fucking get jack in a box here? Is that his gimmick? I fucking hate this. Why would I voluntarily wind this up? Oh, 
Oh, nothing. Why would I look in? I guess there was nothing else to do. Don't you dare. What up? Can you give me my son back? Why were you like... Vi this time, it wasn't just a nightmare anymore. Oh! Jack in a box. I do like how the games I'm fighting for these characters are based on the actual stories. Well, that was not bad. I like the graphics in that. That looks pretty good. Uh, once again, it's kind of like the illusion of fear. Uh, what I mean by that is you could run, but you never actually needed to run. <laughs> so thankfully, I was happy for that. Thanks for playing. Oh, yeah, by the way, I guess... Even though I said it for the f first part, link in description for all the games. I didn't know it was going to be multiple games in one. Alright, one more. You wake up at 3 a.m. Disturbed by some subtle shifting sounds within the room. Just on the edge of hearing, popping up in one arm, you survey the room looking for some source of the noise. Hoping beyond hope, you won't find one. At first, your hopes are raised. Everything seems to be silent. Everything seems to be still. But it isn't. From behind the long concealing drape of a curtain, a voice. With flickering serpentine hiss whispers. Go to sleep. Suddenly, you know what is about to happen and exactly who is waiting to meet you. Welcome to Reunion. This one might not actually follow anything Jeff the Killer related like the other two uh, games are. This might be its own story. Finally! I found a Jeff the Killer game, by the way. This was something I always thought about how, like, there's not a Jeff the Killer game that exists out there. I found one. I actually found two. But we're not playing all of them. There is a sequel to this one, though, for some reason. So maybe I'll visit the sequel for this later, but let's start the game. Reunion. Nice uh, camera shots of all the spaces. Oh, there's a knife in the kitchen somewhere. I don't, I'm not going to remember any of these spots. Oh, what the hell is that arm? It's been three years since I lost my parents. Sorry to hear that. Now I'm an adult and I got out of the orphanage. That sucks. I have a brother. He's missing. That sucks. I believe he's still alive somewhere. It's time to find him. Locate abandoned building and look out for your brother. Press. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I can't see anything. Why do we have to look for him? <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, I would have brought some friends along with this. I wouldn't be by myself. Okay. Like, hey, this is my like personal vendetta, my personal like quest. I, I can't do this alone. Would you be a homie and join me? And then with the, you know, if, you know, say I'm saying that I, I don't have any homies that would actually join me on something like this. Doors locked. That's not good. Cause that means if I need to escape through the front door, Oh, get inside window time. I wish I was evade the land out more. Okay. Window with a cord. Lockers. Box it. Boxes! How are those? Gas! Entrance key. That's good. Huge. There we go. Elevator isn't working. What oh, the hell am I supposed to do now? Activate it through the computer. You know, it's raining outside, but it's very quiet. What? What do you mean elevator isn't working? I guess I follow the cord outside. <laughs> Didn't quite think about that one. Oh, there's the thunder. Wow, it really was just a switch.
No, I thought I saw something in the distance. Oh, I can't get in through the window anymore? I guess it would be safer just to walk in through the entrance. Why do I have to go in the elevator in an abandoned building? Why, why, why is there near stairs? That's a better question. Like, you, do you think it would be safer for stairs to be installed with every building as an elevator? So where's the staircase, huh? And why is it just an elevator? Oh, see, this is exactly what it would have. Why is it so quiet, by the way? But this game's like a lot more quiet than the other ones I played. And that's saying a lot, because my speakers are not good. It, 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 it'll be like loud talking volume like I am right now at 2%. So the fact that it's really quiet is concerning. Oh, turn on my flashlight. I'm dead. There's no way out of this. Might as well make peace right now with whatever I believe in. Because there's no way I'm getting out of here. Uh, oh, it's is, is that duct tape? I don't know what the hell though. There's a lot of it, if, whatever it is. Pointless room. Why would Jeff be down here? Like, I need to talk to my homie Cylinder Man about this and... Oh, oh, I found something. Box hours. Like, Slender Man needs to get me updated on this. Like, Jeff, the hell are you doing? I know you probably don't have, like, the best places to live. You're, you're kind of, like, not as famous. Oh, you're famous because you're a face. But that's about it. But you're not famous about anything else. Oh. Oh, fuck off. Connect. Oh, no, this is... No, it's still terrible. Nice Slenderman car, by the way. This is, ex he, this is his car. <laughs> Connect. Valve is missing. Oh, I'm finding valves. I don't like how open this is. Why is there so many valves? Or so many places to connect a valve? The hell? How many valves do I have to find? Or do I just have to trial and error? What was the only pathway I could see? Door is locked. How am I supposed to do now? Because this door is blocked. Unless I can... Oh, no, I can't. Steel beams. I gotta lift this up somehow. That's the exit. Okay. Oh, there's a thing here. Oh, you're lifting that was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Alright. I haven't seen him yet, which is making me more nervous. Well. Why is there so many things to connect? Why is there so many valve locations? Man, Jeff. You're making this so obnoxious. Did I hear something? It sounds like I'm hearing something. Can't tell if that's my footsteps though. Why is there a lot of fire extinguishers in here? Fire extinguishers are a good weapon. I will say that right now. Ah! Well. Whoa, shit. Oh, Jeff! Oh, Jeff! I didn't know it was E. I was in space, bro. Oh my god. Hey, keep in mind, it's E. Jeff, what the, where were you even hiding? I was going to say, too, it's like, it would be good, cool if he was in the window. 
God, I was kind of hoping this was just a dead end room. The hell, Jeff? Not cool. <laughs> One of eight valves collected. Boom! <laughs> Oh, hi, Jeff. Sorry, I locked you in there. Find internal seven pipes. Well, that's not going to be fucking hard to do. He's going to break through the glass. So fucking obvious. Spotted. What do you mean? Oh, I see him. What? Did you guys stop chasing me? Oh my god. Be cool, Jeff. Jeff, stop fucking walking towards me. Ass. Oh, fuck. I gotta, like, ignore the light. He's just casually walking towards me this whole fucking time. Great. Hey, it seems like he just runs at you as soon as you take a valve. Or the valve. So he's gonna be chill. And then he runs at me. Which I think is kind of bullshit. Because how it, like, spotted my ass. This is fucking weird. I hate this. This is like not a- I can't really- Bruh! <laughs> Calm down, asshole. He's right there. I gotta, like, ignore my fucking ring light. Gotta, like, put my head down more so I could see him. Where am I supposed to run from here? It's kind of a tight space. Where is he? Okay, he's over there. Okay. Two more, and they're next to each other. <gasps> oh, you're close. Too close for comfort. Stop fucking rocking around your car, dude. Fuck off. That's better. Brother. Well, I can't. The car's kind of like blocking the view. I think he's walking. I can see him slightly. Oh, there he is. Such a dick. Are you fucking dead ass? Oh, God. The fence being there is screwing me up. Dead end. Oh. Well. Ah. I got out. What? What's happening? Oh my god. For a second, I just didn't see anything. It's gonna be behind me. It totally is. 
There's a lot more sounds in the vent than usual. Jeff, be cool, man. So let her end and do this shit to me. I'm going as fast as I can in this vent. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Oh, get up. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Flashlight's broken? How the fuck did it break so easily? I'm running. Oh my god. Oh my god, you serious? That one thing falling on the ground screwed up everything. I have to go through the whole vent shit again? Oh, I'm safe. I would still like to fucking run. It disabled my run. Well, we're slowly making it. You serious? Oh my god, you're doing a Slitherman on me! No! Jeff? You're literally doing Slitherman, you're copying here! Jeff, this ain't cool. Hey, you gave me a smooch, bro. Maybe that was maybe that was the old bit. Three years ago. Oh, maybe that was the old bit. He's like kissing the homies goodnight, but before I am beautiful. Oh. I mean, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what up, Jeff? Why are you in my house? This is a go. So this is three years before. Okay, this is some context. Do you really have to paint my bathroom, bro? Oh, is this where you got my brother went missing? Have expected Jeff to be in my face right here. Oh, my brother's gone. What? Oh, hi, Jeff. Back up, bro. I'm awake. I'm awake. I kind of wish you didn't have voice acting. <laughs> A Jeff the Killer game. Oh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, made by... Is that the same... Wait. Same guy? Wait, is it the same man? That name... That, I could have sworn I just saw that name. If it is, that's crazy. If he made the Eilish Jack game and then this game, that's pretty sick. I like... Uh, if it is, keep up the work. I don't think they're terrible games. Uh, this one I feel like has a lot more critiques, but that also, then again, it's hard to say because Eyeless Jack was just more of an experience of story, as this one had some gameplay elements, but I just felt like the elements could be improved. I did not expect a post credit scene. Like, I didn't like the va like the flashlight and valve situation. Wait, I'm outside of the building. Don't look after me. Jeff. Oh, you know what? At least Jeff is a, has a mercy side to him. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> what? Why was he nice to me? Don't look after me. Oh, uh, like I warned you. <laughs> now get out. <laughs> what? Okay. I think it is made by the same person. I can actually look. Uh, fuck. Um, how do you see, view, oh my god, yeah, he did make the island, no shit, he made all of them, he made all the ones I played right now. <laughs> oh, ooh, I didn't even know, I didn't even notice his name of the laughing jack one, I guess it makes sense, yeah, okay, he made all of these games, that's cool as fuck. Teo, I think how you say that, T-A-Y-O, Teo. 
That's actually sick. I don't know. He made Laughing Jack. I thought that was a little. I thought that was someone else. All right, yeah, that's cool. I didn't even notice he made those uh, the Laughing Jack ones. So yeah, he made all of these games. So technically, I just did a whole fucking video of his games. That's that uh, uh, not planned. It was all. I was definitely just looking at creepy pasta games. The first one I found was Eyeless Jack, and then I saw Laughing Jack when I installed it. And I was like, oh, Laughing Jack, that's cool. And then I literally was looking for Jeff the Killer afterwards. To complete the video, but yeah, that's a uh, three uh, random creepy pasta horror games. I didn't. This was unplanned, by the way. I was assuming they just to make a one video on Laughing Jack or Eyeless Jack, but then it was very short, so I might as well make three games, right, or two games more. But um, yeah, there is a sequel to this, and he's made other games, so maybe I'll play more of his other games. One of them was a Slenderman game, uh, which I don't think I've played. And the another one looked like a sl one of those like classic Slenderman esque games where. It's not Slenderman, but it's like someone of, I don't know, it was 2012. People were weird back then. <laughs> so maybe I'll look into that one. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!